This conference will now be recorded. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we'll be starting our next topic, that is condition-based preventive maintenance. Okay. So the topics that we are going to cover, they are introduction to condition-based maintenance. We will understand what is condition-based maintenance, creation of measuring point. Okay. Assignment of measuring point with codes. You will see this. Okay. Creation of measurement document. Okay. So when the, when you want to take a reading, um, they will create measurement document. Will create a measurement document. During that time, system will trigger a automatic notification for the preventive maintenance. So these are the topics we will be covering in the condition based preventive maintenance. Okay. So basically, uh, in our previous sessions, we discussed time-based preventive maintenance, performance-based preventive maintenance, counter-based preventive maintenance. We covered all these things extensively already. So today we are covering condition-based preventive maintenance. This one, this we will, this we are covering today. Okay. So basically, uh, any equipment uh, normally. Uh, they expect certain conditions like it, it should have certain temperature let's say from 0 to 80 degrees i'm just giving an example or they expect some pressure okay within some limits if that particular condition is not fulfilled okay then they go for preventive maintenance suppose let's say they expect temperature between 80 to uh, 0 to 80 degrees centigrade suddenly the one day the temperature is it is showing as 82 degrees then in that case they will do the preventive maintenance so the conditions equipment is not having the uh, required conditions so in that case they will go for the condition based preventive maintenance okay so basically this is the one in the case of condition based maintenance maintenance activities are always performed when the measuring point of a technical object technical object is nothing but equipment has reached a particular state state for example every time a brake pad has been worn away to the minimum thickness permitted so the, the condition based maintenance is performed when the condition of that particular technical object reached a certain state certain condition which is not uh, allowed actually okay so condition based maintenance in sap means triggering maintenance job based on measuring points so in our previous sessions we already discussed on the measuring points how to create the measuring points what are measuring points how to create these things we understood in our master data sessions a measuring point contains safe limits so these measuring points will have the limits we discussed this also upper limit and lower limit okay a reading on measuring point is called measurement document so when they take the measurement suppose let's say they want to measure temperature so when they measure the temperature that reading that reading is entered in the system using measurement document this also we covered in our master data sessions okay when a measurement document reading crosses the limit a maintenance notification is triggered so when they take the reading if that reading is not within the allowed limits okay within the limits not not is not in within the limits then system automatically generates a notification then using that notification they will do the preventive maintenance okay now, so this is the one so normally when a motor breaks down a defect code is automatically transmitted which triggers a notification so when the equipment is not having the proper condition automatically you can generate a notification which we will see it in the system okay so this is the one so the system automatically triggers a malfunction notification when a particular measure measuring point threshold values are exceeded or if particular valuation code occur okay so this i will show it in the system so this is the one so let's say you have a equipment okay so there is some problem so when they uh, during that problem they will enter the catalog damage i'll show you this in the system so when they assign the code valuation code in the measurement document then system automatically triggers a notification notification either value is not within the limits or they will assign a particular uh, what do you call 
code valuation code okay so when they assign that system automatically triggers a note for the preventive maintenance activity and from this notification they will convert this notification to order and then they will do the preventive maintenance okay so i will show you this in the system so let's go to the system Okay, uh, I'll take a equipment which is already there in the system. In the system, the equipment are up, sorry, IH08. Okay, I'll take a equipment which is already created in this system. So I'll take this equipment. So for this equipment, if you take this equipment, This is equipment for this equipment we have us we are assigning a measuring point i'll show you this this is equipment for this equipment there is a measuring point measuring point i'll show you the measuring point so if you double click on the equipment or select the equipment go to details so this is the equipment master if you go to measuring points and counters here you see there is a measuring point double one nine seven one operating temperature so this is a measuring point okay it is nothing but operating temperature temperature okay this already we created in our previous sessions okay it will have a limits it will have limits i'll show you the measuring point i'll go to one more session ik03 this we covered already ik03 what is the measuring point this one double one nine seven okay if you go to this measuring point if you observe carefully it was it is assigned with limits target value is 80 degrees but if you click on the additional data you see the limits are lower limit is zero and upper limit is zero by 80 okay so the expected values are expected values are from 0 to 80 degrees 80 degree okay so now if the value of if the temperature is not within these limits then normally they will go for the preventive maintenance so this is lower limit this is lower limit zero and this is a upper limit they are expecting so normally the temperature should be within this range within this range Okay, within this, I will put this like this MP. 